Welcome to our channel UK Visa and Immigration Updates. Number 1. How to search a job with sponsorship in the UK. Contact the following job agencies. Indeed. Total jobs. Read. UK hired. A one agency. Pearls Recruitment. Morgan Hunt. Vera. Robert Half. Davidson Morris. Medics. Propel London. Michael Page. Hayes. Deerfoot. Adeco. I would suggest you to visit UK's government official website to find a job with sponsorship. www.gov.uk. Click on Find a Job. Click on Start Now. Type your job title, category, or just type Visa Sponsorship. And you will see a list of jobs with sponsorship. You can also select a specific category to see the available jobs. For example, IT jobs. Click on healthcare and nursing jobs to see available jobs. Choose your preferred job and apply. Number 2. How to check either an employer got a sponsor license or not. Type tier 2 register of sponsor in search bar. And you will find the list. Click on the link and the document will be opened in Excel file by clicking here. This is complete list of employers who got sponsorship license. You can search an employer either by location or by category. Number 3. Check if your job is eligible. Find your job in the UK Government Skilled Workers Eligible Occupations list. Or go to Shortage Occupation list. Number 4. Requirements of Skilled Worker Visa Your job. To qualify for a Skilled Worker Visa, you must work for a UK employer that's been approved by the Home Office. Have a certificate of sponsorship from your employer with information about the role you have been offered in the UK. Do a job that's on the list of eligible occupations. Be paid a minimum salary, how much depends on the type of work you do. The specific eligibility depends on your job. You must have a confirmed job offer before you apply for your visa. Knowledge of English. You will usually need to prove your knowledge of the English language when you apply, unless you did this in a previous successful visa application. Level of English. You must prove you can read, write, speak and understand English to at least level B1 on the CEFR scale. You do not need to prove your knowledge of English if you are a national of one of the following countries or territories. Salary requirements. You will usually need to be paid at least £26,200 per year, or £10.75 per hour, whichever is higher. If the going rate for your job is higher than both of these, you will usually need to be paid at least the going rate. Example. Your salary is £27,000 per year, but the annual going rate for the job you will be doing is £30,000. You do not meet the usual salary requirements for this visa. Each occupation code has its own annual going rate. Check the going rate for your job in the going rates table. If you work in healthcare or education, 
There are different salary rules if you work in some healthcare or education jobs, where the going rate is based on national pay scales. When you can be paid less. If you do not meet the usual salary requirements, and you do not work in healthcare or education, you might still be eligible if your salary will be at least £20,960 per year and at least £10.75 per hour. You might still be able to apply for a skilled worker visa if your job is eligible, but your salary is less than £26,200 or your job's usual going rate. You must still be paid at least £10.75 per hour. You can be paid between 70% and 90% of the usual going rate for your job if your salary is at least £20,960 per year and you meet one of the following criteria. Your job is in a shortage occupation. You are under 26, studying or a recent graduate, or in professional training. You have a science, technology, engineering, maths or PhD level qualification that's relevant to your job. If you have a relevant PhD level qualification in any other subject your salary must be at least £23,580. You have a postdoctoral position in science or higher education. Application fees. If you are applying from outside the UK, the standard fee depends on whether you will be in the UK for up to three years, £625 per person. More than three years, £1,235 per person. If you are applying from inside the UK to extend, switch or update your visa, the standard fee depends on whether you will be in the UK for up to three years, £719 per person. More than three years, £1,423 per person. If your job is on the shortage occupation list, you and your family will pay a lower application fee if your job is on the shortage occupation list. The fee for each person applying is £479 if you are staying for up to three years, £943 if you are staying for more than three years. The fee is the same whether you are applying from inside or outside the UK. Healthcare Surcharge You will also have to pay the healthcare surcharge for each year of your stay, this is usually £624 per year. Check how much you will have to pay before you apply. Money to support yourself You must have at least £1,270 in your bank account to show you can support yourself in the UK. You will need to have had the money available for at least 28 days in a row. Day 28 must be within 31 days of applying for this visa. You will usually need to show proof of this when you apply, unless either. You have been in the UK with a valid visa for at least 12 months. Your employer can cover your costs during your first month in the UK, up to £1,270. Your partner and children will also need to prove they can support themselves while they are in the UK. You must apply online for a skilled worker visa. As part of your application, you will need to prove your identity. How you do this depends on where you are from and what type of passport you have. You will either have your fingerprints and photograph taken at a visa application center, this is to get a biometric residence permit. Use the UK Immigration ID Check app to scan your identity document, you'll also create or sign into your UK VI account. You will be told what you need to do when you apply. If you do need an appointment, the centre may need to keep your passport and documents while they process your application. You may have to travel to get to your nearest visa application centre. Apply for a skilled worker visa. Once you have started your application, you can save your form and complete it later. How long it takes to get a decision? Once you have applied online, proved your identity and provided your documents, you will usually get a decision within three weeks. You will be contacted if your application will take longer, for example because your supporting documents need to be verified. You need to attend an interview. 
of your personal circumstances, for example if you have a criminal conviction. You may be able to pay to get a faster decision, you will be told if you can when you apply. Applying from outside the UK. You may be able to get a decision within five working days with priority service. By the end of the next working day with super priority service. Whether you can get a faster decision depends on what you are applying for and whether you prove your identity at a visa application center or using the UK immigration ID check app. You will find out if you can get a faster decision when you apply for a visa. How much it costs? You'll need to pay your visa application fee and an additional fee to get a faster decision. If you're using the priority service, the additional fee depends on whether your visa gives you the option to settle permanently in the UK, also known as indefinite leave to remain. You'll need to pay an additional £573 if your visa gives you the option to settle permanently in the UK. £250 if your visa does not give you the option to settle permanently in the UK. To find out if your visa gives you the option to settle permanently in the UK, check the guidance for your visa. If you're using the super priority service, you will need to pay an additional £956. Share this video with your family and friends, someone may benefit. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get timely notification of upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.